Now we are going to cost administrations. First, we need to customize the cost setting. So when you watch the video, first, I will explain briefly what are those key elements that you have to set in the cost setting. So due to the time limitation, and also as this is a quick start guide, we will not go in detail for each of the setting. We will only show you how to make the setting for a few key functionality, which is important for you to start. So when you log into your page for the first time, so this is how it looks like. And you have to go to the administration block. So this is the administration block. Click on the edit setting. Okay. So after you click on the edit setting, it show you a few things that you can customize. Okay. And you, when you click on the triangle, expand it, you can see more details. So what I'm going to show here is to focus a few things. So it's a general description, cost format, appearance, completion tracking. Okay. So these are the five things you have to do okay, in the smart UMS. So we can click So when you go to the course, go to edit setting. So it's good to put, put this side by side, okay, with your course materials. So in this case, I'll be using the course summary in the table tree. So I can select the course start date. So this is how it looks like. So as I showed just now, so I can just expand it. So if you want to learn more in detail what is every setting is about, you then can just click on the question mark. Okay. So all the explanation is quite detailed. I think it's self-explained. Okay. So of course you want it to be visible for for student. For student can find find the course is Smart UMS and enroll themselves. Select the starting date. Okay, when the course will be started. After that, I can go to description. So I can copy the course summary or synopsis. Okay. I can also copy the learning outcome for the course. So you might need to, you might want to add summary file. Then the next is a cost format. So you can choose weekly format or topic format. So usually we we'll choose weekly format. So number of session is number of the week or topics. If you choose topic, 14. Okay. So the rest we just show you as default, the hidden section. So if you want to learn more, you can. Click on it and read. Then the next is cost layout. Okay, so there are two choices. One is show all section on one page or show one section per page. So I can show you the example. So the default setting is show all section in one page. So this is considered one section. So in, this is in topic one section. One section. In one section. So now you can see all the session in one page. Okay. Another setting is so show a section in each, each page. You only show one section. So this is how it look like. So this is only one section. If you want to go to the next section, you have to click this, go to the next page. Okay. So this is from the student view when they when they access to the course, or the student can jump to each of any of these sessions. 
So usually I will choose show one section per page. So appearance far upload is not import, too important at this moment. Okay, for for you to start. The most important one is a completion tracking. Make sure you enable this one. Okay. And then just click set changes. So now you have made some essential setting for the cost. So you can pause the video anytime while you are trying to do the same setting for your cost. 